Okay guys, the next example I've got for you here is on torsion. So this is now our so this is our example. We have a tube section of aluminium uh, given by and this particular type of aluminium which is 7075T6 and it is subject to a 250 newton meter newton meter load and we need to determine the required size of the tube. So first thing we need to get a uh, shear stress for this particular aluminium so we can get that from our material data which we have here so I come here I've got our grading code of aluminium 7075 uh, come across we have yield stress here but we want shear stress which is over here in this column and just something to note here is for this aluminium um, in past examples we were dealing with steel and the shear stress was 0.58 times the tensile yield stress uh, you'll notice that it is not the case for this uh, particular aluminium uh, so this shear yield stress was just obtained online from a material data sheet. So let's solve the problem. So we had a yield stress equal to 331 megapascals and our torsion equation is shear stress equal to torque times our radius divided by J where J is our polar moment of inertia. Now if we go through uh, we'll notice it's similar to our bending example so we've got two unknowns both R and J so we need to combine them into one variable so we solve here for uh, J on R. So that means J on R is equal to T on tau which for this case will be T on our shear stress yield. So that means we get, uh, keeping an eye on units, 250 divided by 331 times 10 to the 6. And then we times that all by a thousand cubed so we get our answer in millimeters cubed and plugging that in a calcula calculator gives us 755.28 millimeters cubed. Um, now we're dealing with a tube section here and so just going to move across to some of our tables here with particular sections and you'll notice I've already pre-calculated a lot of uh, the different required things so I've got second moment inertia y or the r distance we were using um, and then I've created a j and r term just on the side here which was just two times the second moment of inertia and then divided by these values here so it was just that cell times 2 divided by this cell here. So our value we got for J on R was 755. Uh, you've noticed here I've put in green uh, two different values so if I'd just been coming down this list I would have hit here and it'd be like 700. Okay so maybe the next one I see that meets that size is the tube I'll select. 
uh, not necessarily the case. If you keep on coming down, we get to a tube with a larger outer diameter, but thinner wall thickness, which has a closer J on R value. And if we look across on the side here, we've got 0.679 kilograms for a one meter length compared to 0.916. So our second one here that we've got highlighted is in fact the choice we'll go with. So when dealing with any sort of hollow sections where you've got varying wall thicknesses for a common outside size, uh, this is something you just might want to be aware of. So our decision here is to go with a 22.2 millimeter outer diameter with a 1.2 millimeter thick inner diameter. And so that's our choice for this question and concludes this example.